Okay guys, in this video, we will fix the issue, the site cannot be reached. We have an error protocol, something like error, quick protocol error. So step by step, the number of solution you are going to try in order to fix this issue. The very first solution for this issue is, you are going to type this in your browser. It's chrome colon double slash flags. I hope it is visible to you. It's chrome colon double slash flags. And then here search when you type proto, P R O T O. As soon as you type proto, you're going to see over experimental quick protocols. You're going to click on this drop down and disable it. And relaunch. After relaunching the Chrome, you're gonna see it is disabled. Now you're gonna use the browser. Issue should be gone away and it should be working fine. If the issue is still processed, proceed to the next solution. Finally, uh, the second solution is we'll go to the search and type the firewall and open the firewall. And what we do is temporarily for temporary, uh, here is the turn on Windows Defender firewall. So we'll turn off the firewall. So do not keep it turned off for a longer time. Your site uh, you're trying to access uh, might cause or might harm your system. That is why it will be blocking you will not be able to access it but when you turn it off if it is important for you and you trust that site you can turn it off and access that site click on all now you must be able to use it later on you can come back and better you turn it on again after you finish accessing those sites for your security so this is the second solution so the next solution is so if you are using any kinds of VPN, you can disable the VPN or if you are using any kinds of proxy in a browser, you can disable the proxy also. When you go to the, here is three dot line, you go to the settings, finally you will come down and here you have a system, here you have a proxy. So if you are using any kinds of proxy address over here, so if your proxy is turned on, if you are using any kinds of proxy address, uh, better you turn it off. So this was the next solution that you can try in order to fix this issue. The next thing is, again, you are going to click on three dot line, again you will be going to settings. And this time, we will reset the browser to the default. So reset settings, it's a restore the browser to the default, click on reset. It will take few minutes and sorry few seconds and you will reset your browser now you can access it it should be working fine still if you persist proceed to the next solution so the next solution is again you click on three dot lines sometimes extension will be causing the problem click on manage extension and finally you will have a lots of extension installed over here try to disable the unwanted extension or try to remove it from the browser so even this will be causing sometimes problems. So whatever browser you are using, you're either you are using the Chrome or the Firefox or the Ace, you are going to follow these similar steps and it will help you access the different contents. Uh, it will be help you access the sites and you will get rid of the error like the site cannot be raised. The next thing that you can try is, here is your network icon, give a right click on it. Click on Open Network and Internet Settings. You will go to Wi-Fi. Click on Manage Non-Network. And here is the network. You can click on Forget. And then after you are going to restart your PC, enter the password for your Wi-Fi network again and start using. So this is the one solution that you can try if you are getting this error. Sometime turn off your router for 5 to 10 minutes and again you turn it on it might work for you sometime you will have a reset button in your router click that reset button do not click on other button other than the reset just click on reset button in your router this will reset your network and try it again so this can be one 
uh, reason sometimes uh, it causes the problem so you can try this one you can open the command prompt so you are going to type cmd give a right click on it and run as administrator click on yes now finally you are opening the command prompt as an administrator now you are going to type few commands so the very first command is ipconfig ipconfig space slash release and hit enter key after executing the first command the next command that you are going to execute is ipconfig space slash plus dns and hit enter key you can see successfully flush the dns this is the next command that you are going to type ipconfig space slash renew and then hit enter key the fourth command to execute is netsh space int space ip space reset hit enter key now finally one more command to execute netsh winsock space reset so we have a space over here and here and hit enter key now finally it will ask you to restart your computer so exit it and we will restart the computer so after restart your problem should be gone away and you will be able to fix the issue and your browser should be working fine whether it is a chrome or whether it is a is or firefox or whatever browser and in the last option that you're going to try is you're going to search for the control panel and open it in control panel you have a network and internet here you have a internet option in an internet option you will go to connections and then LAN setting make sure it is checked if it is unchecked you're going to check this and this should be unchecked if it is checked make sure to uncheck so this should be unchecked and this should be checked so confirm that and click on ok and click on ok so this was the last solution that you could try along with this so in the last solutions so one more thing you can add to this one so for the last step one more thing that you can do if you are using your ethernet network You'll give a right click on it, click on open in network and internet settings. We'll go to Ethernet and finally we'll click on change adapter option. Now if you click on change adapter option, you'll see this space. Give a right click on Ethernet, whichever you're using, click on properties. And then finally you'll choose here TCP IP version 4. Finally click on properties. Here it is opt-in automatically. You can manually assign the IP address. So this is you can do. In some cases, in some cases, if you are using a Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can even click on over here, edit. Here it is automatic. You are going to choose manual, turn on IP version 4, and you can manually use the IP address and gateway. And save the settings and you can try so all these were the different options you could try in order to fix this issue and finally your browser should be working fine this issue should be gone in any browser whether it is a chrome or Ace or firefox or whatever so all the way share this video like subscribe and comment catch you in the next tutorial have a good day